Yeah, yeah ideally the length of the rope, unless I hold it about like a the hanging down how part. How I had that rope where I, if I put it at my waist, the rope was touching the ground. Okay, I want you to walk, you remember how you was walking? Yeah, that way. Get all tensed up again? Yeah, fake it. Your, Your boss is it. coming. Y'all good at I know, that's, that's pretty much the way I always walk, so it's, it oh. should be fairly natural for me. Yeah, that's what you said. All right, walk it. Now, right now, Snowbell's eyes are all over the place. She's, you know, she's following, but she's still looking. Now, I know this horse, and personally, if she was in training, she wouldn't be allowed to do that. Now, Melissa and stuff turning on to her, because Snowbell knows how to move the high hip away from you. So when you turn like this and start getting in front of that shoulder and all, she thinks she's supposed to move that hip. That's why she's turning. Okay. So what I want you to do is keep your body straight with her. You don't have to turn. Where is she? She's right there. <laughs> keep your body straight, and when you stop, if you see. Now what I want to do, when Melissa's leading her, when she stops her feet, I do not want to see that head go past Melissa's shoulder. It's that simple. And we discussed this before when we started filming. Melissa was, was correcting her, but she was correcting her way too far. So don't let it escalate to that point. Y'all, especially females, y'all know when something's in your personal space, you do it at, to us all the time we're at bars. When some strange guy comes up to you and they're too close, y'all know it. So why can't you do it to the horses? <coughs> so Melissa, lead her. Now I want you to stop your feet. Now right there, see you start depending on that line. Mm -hmm. See the first thing old you habits, do. Old habits. Well, I want you getting to as soon as you stop your right now for filming person purposes and everything, as soon as you stop your feet, one hard twirl, maybe two. Alright, alright. Alright, now stop your feet. Now I'm gonna tell you, believe it or not, you see how you twirl them this way? Twirl it this way, it's gonna be easier. Go ahead, twirl it. Twirl it. Now see how that's so much easier? Things. One little simple thing. Okay, let's do it. Alright, stop your feet and twirl. Twirl. One more time. A little harder. There. See, she just backed up a little space. That's where we want. Alright, let's lead her again. Well, I want to see Snowbell when cut across here. When, when uh, Melissa stops her feet, I want Snowbell to stop and back up. It's because we, we don't want to depend on that halter. We, we're not going to do a death, death grip. All right, stop. Here, do it again. That's it. And you say, you, see, there goes the dressage whip. Melissa's well, a good gal. All right, you know we just met on Sunday, wasn't it? No, Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Last Monday. Whatever day. Who knows? We work, I work seven days a week, so one day is nothing. All right, let's do it again. This is a, like I said earlier, this is a real simple exercise to correct the horse, get control of the feet. Anybody can do it. You don't need any equipment. And like I said, I wish I had a before and after shot of this. It would be a big difference. She was walking all over me. There you go, good. Now next time I want to give her a chance. Stop your feet, give her like a tenth of a second or something. Give her a chance, you got enough time, and give her a chance to react to her own. Okay. And then if she don't, then bring the rope in. All right, 
stop your feet. Now, yes, right now, Snowbell's in a little bit in a dangerous position. But, Snowbell knows body language. So you notice right then, that was a good shot actually. When Snowbell stopped, she automatically backed off Melissa. She didn't try to push through her, she backed up. Alright. So right now, Melissa's got the leadership role. And for people who know Snowbell, they will what tell you that that's a big plus. Nice stop your feet. Go ahead, torque. I'm going to take a step back and make her back up. Pour your ropes. There you go. That's it. That, that's good. Don't. Don't. Now, that was. You heard me explain to Melissa earlier how to stand straight with the horse, parallel. Right then, that's how minute these horses read body language. So, y'all go ahead and probably replay play this. Well, this is on the horse. That camera will move. I know it moves, but you were like All right. totally I, out of the I shot. I it out, so that's in there. So anyway, so Melissa, she just barely turned just a little bit. Your shoulders did, and when you did, that was what uh, she did. Now that's one problem I see with one certain program out there. They do exaggerated moves on these horses, like you know they do the marching game. Well, bull crap. If I walk to my horse's shoulder, I want that horse to move off me. I don't have to march at it. Because well, what happens is, you start doing these marching games, bending over real low to get the horses to move their hiney. The horse depends on that exaggerated movement. You're taking that natural instinct they got, you're deadening it. You know, so think about it. Less can go a long way. These horses are... They read body language great, so you don't have to do that. Like I said, that was a good example. Melissa just turned, and Snowbell moved her hip. All right, let's try it again. All right, stop your feet. Right there, she's too far. All right, so next time, she's had a couple of chances. Next time, work at her. When you stop your feet, twirl. Do it quicker? Yeah. Right there, Snowbell had a chance. She took a little bit of advantage. So what you would do is, the next time, reiterate and back it up. There. You come in there, pretty lady. Say you really didn't get the full benefit of this because you didn't see a snowbell before. But Melissa, you can tell them you gotta talk about them. <laughs> so how bad was she when, before we started filming? That's what purpose. She was running all over me in the beginning. And like I said, Melissa was, was the opportunity had to learn something here because she and she's a sharp cookie. So she realized that when she was all rigid and tight, you know, like she brought out, she's class A personality. So actually working horses this way is going to be good therapy for her. This one, going to chill. And no biggie. It's, it isn't. I might give him a bath too. But um, I'm sorry, just looking at another horse. So anyway, that's one simple ex exercise will go a long way, people. It's short, simple. If you can't handle the rope, get your dressage whip and have it beat something or a piece of plastic on dressage whip, anything to get that horse back up off you and get control of the feet. You don't have to do all the fancy stuff, you know, like even I show on YouTube. But this, like I said, this is one exercise that will go a long way. So as I always say, be true to a horse and dang it, be true to yourself and God bless and take care.